Howdy. All right, let's talk about uh, one more uh, moving ocean water and how it uh, creates or, or helps to shape the geology of the coast. That would be waves. Uh, that's kind of a pretty obvious one. So waves are generated by offshore winds, sometimes thousands of miles away from where they, they hit the shores. Um, wind transfer the energy to the wave. Wave transfers energy to the coast. So you're getting this energy from the atmosphere uh, directed to the water, and that water now contains the energy, and that energy, bam, piles up uh, and hits the coast, further helping to shape the, the terrain, create landforms, in essence, uh, help to shape the geology of, of the coast itself. Um, so wave energy, how much energy is in a wave is uh, approximately proportional to the square of the wave height. A little mathy, um, kind of going with our theme so far. But uh, what do I mean by that? Well, think of a one-foot wave, you know, a two-foot wave, or a three-foot wave. Well, uh, it's proportional to the square of the wave height. So a one-foot wave, okay, one times one is, so one squared, one times one is one. Well, versus a two-foot wave, two times two, that's two squared, two times two is four, so that means a two-foot wave has four times the energy a one-foot wave uh, does. What about the three-foot wave? Well, three squared, three times three is nine, so a three-foot wave has nine times the energy of a one-foot wave. So it's not just adding, it's, it's multiplicative, uh, it's um, proportional to the square. So the bigger the wave gets, the really the more energy that, that you have there. And all of these waves, um, whether big or small, help to create coastal landforms, different landforms that we see on the coast, and they're actually different for active versus passive uh, margins. Uh, waves also do a great job of transporting sand and sediment, so waves can not only weather and erode breakdown material, but they can also transport and deposit sediment. How waves kind of work, again, you know, out in the ocean, the, the wind is blowing. As the wave uh, reaches shore, the the ocean uh, the ocean floor uh, rises up towards uh, towards the ocean level. So you're getting less and less uh, space between the ocean surface and the ocean floor. So the waves tend to slow down. As they do, they kind of pack up, uh, kind of pack up and build upwards. Uh, so making the waves higher and higher and higher to it gets to a particular point where it's shallow enough that the waves will will break. Um, when waves come in they really they are really helpful at creating and shaping coasts and creating different coastal landforms. They don't typically always just come in straight um, depending on the subsurface geology or the sub-ocean geology you know you can get waves moving around um, so the ocean floor geology will determine the direction in which the waves go, depending if they're going faster or slower, which can create different types of landforms. Uh, the physics behind waves is actually pretty pretty intense physics, so uh, we'll kind of just keep it at that. But just know when these waves crash into land, they can carve, shape, weather, and erode, or even uh, deposit sediment in certain places to create different types of landforms. And so kind of just a short little introduction into waves because where we're going into next section are these coastal landforms. How are they different on active margins versus path, uh, passive margins? I'll see you back here in just a minute.